Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and uh, in these uh, days of adjustments because of the schedule changes for the B21 season. Once again, a lot of you are, have been asking me what's, what does B21 mean? Um, schedules for shortwave change twice a year. The first schedule of a year is A and the uh, second is B and the number goes with the year. So a21 for 2021 was the schedules we had for the first uh, half of the year for the summer time in North America. And then we had, uh, now we have B21 for the second schedules for uh, the winter of uh, in the Northern Hemisphere for the schedules. And so um, EIBI Space, the uh, famous place where I go all the time, seems not to be updated yet. It's taking a long time. I've noticed this summer that the updates to their schedules were very slow. So I don't know what's happening. If uh, maybe the uh, there's more time to um, do, you know, other things, maybe uh, that uh, the guy's occupied with something else and makes it more difficult for him to update the uh, schedules. But um, I've been using with great success the Aoki list. I will share the link of the download of the uh, Aoki B21, which is updated, by the way, uh, regularly. So uh, that means that, uh, so this is the uh, link here. I will share this link. It will download a zip file to your uh, device. It is updated, like I said, regularly. Uh, this is the latest one updated November 11th, which is today, actually, 09 UTC. So it's good to uh, keep that link and download at least once a week the new updated list. So it's pretty accurate. I've been using it for uh, identifying what I'm listening to with uh, pretty good success. So um, this is definitely a list to keep and to update uh, you know at least once a week so you know that you have the latest uh, versions when you download the file it's going to tell you that it's probably going to tell you that it's a dangerous file that you shouldn't keep it it's not it's just because it's not uh, you know coming from a secure download site but the file is fine and there's no viruses no problem with it uh, it contains two things three things sorry and i'm going to show you an example so here's the latest one that i downloaded um, the first is the, uh, so there's an Excel spreadsheet version of the, uh, schedules of the, uh, different frequencies and times. I use that Excel version because I can easily, you know, change things around and see and have the list in the, the way that I want it. Um, there's a text version of that same file. So this one will be you'll be able to open it on any device and last but not least there's another one called user list which is the simplified list of the broadcasters on their frequencies so when you search for something this could be actually easier to use than it would be to use a um, um, you know, the other ones, and I believe this also can be um, incorporated in some database of some of the SDRs. So the AOK list, I'll post the link in the description again. Um, pretty accurate, and I think one of the great ways to um, understand what we're listening and what we have on the different frequencies. Uh, typically, it's, you know, frequency, station name, the time of broadcasts, uh, I'm, you know, one to seven means seven days a week for broadcasting. Uh, then you have the language used, you have the power, you have the location of the transmitter site, then you have the information of the transmitter and all of that. Uh, so, um, nice list to uh, go through and get acquainted with. So the link is in the description and, uh, that's pretty much what I've been using for identifying stations, uh, lately. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.